Om Shanti. Today is your 72nd day of Vardhan. Vardhan where Baba reminds us that whenever we think of something big in our life, we always are responsible and we avoid carelessness or any kind of mistake when our vision is long. Also, we also make sure that we are in tandem with or in sync with our goals, our aims and also we are taking care that we don't make any big mistakes in our life. So unlike in the normal way also, in the worldly way also, we see that if you have a big aim, you become responsible. You become somebody who is taking care of even minute things. There is no carelessness. But here, Baba is talking about or God is talking about world transformation or helping souls to become peaceful, helping five elements to, pure, to become pure and be ready for the golden age to come. So let's talk about what Baba has to say over here. Baba says, may you be a responsible soul who, along with doing physical work, we all do physical work, whether it's housework, whether it's any kind of office work or any kind of work, does the work of world transformation with your mind. So even if you're engaged in your worldly affairs, you can still be through your mind, be purifying the five elements. This meditation is so powerful. Yes, that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, that your pure thoughts can also affect the condition of the five elements and also the condition of many souls whom you know or you are directly or indirectly connected in the whole world. For information's sake, spirituality says that all the souls are interconnected. It's like a worldwide web of souls through telepathic communication. If something happens in some other country, you can feel their pain or suffering if you are interconnected with them. So Baba says in that way, you can understand that how we can affect everything around us through our thoughts while working. So then Baba says, while doing any physical work, always have the awareness that you are an instrument for the service of world benefit on the world stage. So when somebody is an actor and comes onto the world stage or a stage per se, that actor is very conscious about what the actor says. The dialogue has to be perfect. The thoughts have to be perfect. Words have to be perfect. The action has to be perfect. It has to be in communication or in tandem or in sync with thoughts, words and actions, right? That's what makes a good actor. So here too, Baba says, your thoughts have to be in alignment with me. They have to be pure enough so that you can actually be serving the world even while doing your worldly affairs. So then Baba says, I have received a huge responsibility to do the task of world transformation with my elevated state of mind. When you have this awareness that I am being given a very huge responsibility by God of world transformation, then what happens is all carelessness will finish. All the laziness will finish. You won't just think of yourself, you'll think about the whole world. You will then, instead of wasting time, you will save it while considering every second to be invaluable. You will continue to use it in a worthwhile way for world benefit. Think about it. That's what we do when we have a big responsibility. Let's say in your job, in your business, you have a big responsibility. Your thoughts have to be in alignment. You have to be fresh. You have to be thinking clearly. Here too, the same thing applies, but this is on a very huge scale, world transformation. So then Baba says, while considering every second to be invaluable, you will continue to use it in a worthwhile way for world benefit and for the task of transforming the non-living and the living. We think about changing the things in a house, changing the equipments in a house, putting on a new machinery for making our life even more comfortable. But Baba is talking about transforming the five elements in the world. Now you think about how can I bring out such a huge change? Papa says you're a powerful soul if you consider that. If you connect yourself with me, sit in meditation with me, you'll realize that how powerful you are and how your thoughts of purity attained through me can affect the five elements in the world and can also affect the souls in the world. You can actually think for souls, pray for the whole world, pray for all the souls with a very pure mind and in the right way, if you send the vibrations of thoughts of purity, even souls will feel it. 
even the five elements will get purified. They are still getting purified. You see the volcanic eruptions, you see the earthquakes, you see the tsunamis, you see the landslides, you see the typhoons and hurricanes. What are they? They are actually saying, I want to get purified. Enough is enough. I want to change. Where are they getting this power and energy from? They are getting it from our thought power. Our thoughts affect the five elements. So, they to affect the souls in this world. That's what Baba is trying to say and make us learn in Brahma Kumaris, which you too can come and learn at Brahma Kumaris. So with this I leave you. A beautiful meditation can be done on this. You can think about these thoughts in contemplation deeply and with this Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.